Hello champions, we're gonna do our preview for Jeff Hardy, which is the uh, free character this month. And have a look at five star bronze as usual i don't get to keep him it's only for preview purposes this is going to be a preview that i use the max trainers and everything i will do a toned down version with my own three star bronze later on when i get it uh, whenever it's released uh, whether it's today or tomorrow i don't know when i'll have time to do it but I, I always buy the three star bronze and uh, I'll do the preview for that. And for that preview, I will use only the basic trainers. So let's have a look. Jeff he is a technician trainer bonus at 5k is take 50% less damage from a black submission move. Not really useful. Links with uh, zombies, zombies 2020 and modern era. No gear. Right, the first move set we're gonna have a look at. First, just overlooking his moves, he looks like a character that has a ton of variations. Just swapping one move or just uh, changing different trainers. So definitely looks uh, pretty versatile as far as trainers go. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna go through the whole list because I'd probably do like 20 matches but we're gonna talk about most of it. So first is gonna get, is gonna be the Ardiac Arrest which is an awesome name <laughs> it's an 8 mp green move deals 40.2k damage and make five random gems into purple gems the leg catch head taker 6 mp purple move deal 35.1k damage and deal 19.1k bleed damage to your opponent for five turns and the twist of hate which is 8 MP purple move deal 34.3k damage and swap a 1x4 random area into green. Uh, you could pretty much replace, like, I know one that they suggest was to use the Scream of the Wind instead of the Ardiac Arrest. I kind of like the Ardiac Arrest better because you got the Twist of Hate that fills the green and you got the green that fills the purple i'm guessing it might not i don't know what are the values at lower rarity maybe it doesn't fill as well uh, when it's lower but at five star this looks like it recycles pretty well plus you got the bleed in there the first uh, set we're gonna have a look at is gonna be using woods and shield set to increase the bleed uh, could be using a George Steel instead of Woods as well. I kind of like Woods better because that means we're going to get the bleed earlier. Uh, set works fine here. Could be uh, using Daniel Bryan instead. Uh, that would work very well as well. Uh, coaches, I put Eddie there to have one extra purple and I got Hollywood Ogan there. You could instead uh, go with double MP coach which would be uh, both DX, uh, Triple H, and DX HBK would work really well as well. I just like to have the extra purple there. Could use Ogan as well. Regular powerhouse Ogan, that is. All right, let's have a look. We're going to go versus Drew McIntyre with straps. The reason I'm doing that is Drew is a powerhouse. I am a technician. If I was using Vader as usual, I would have the class advantage on Vader on top of him not having any straps or anything. This way, I will be going still with the class advantage on Drew that is a powerhouse, but he also has uh, straps and everything. So it's gonna, the, the class advantage is gonna basically nullify about half of what uh, he has. Uh, from medals and everything strap and I also have my regular bon bonuses that I already have which are 15% more health and gym do 50% 15% more damage from the field number one move that create all color gem will create two more all color gem that is is bonus for the month and so is the bleed move do 15% more bleed damage both of those are is monthly bonus uh, take 10% less damage from all color move that standard and the uh, monthly perks are still active right now for the next two hours or so it is all color move start with three more mp and matching all color gem uh, gives plus two so all those bonuses plus the class advantage pretty much arrive to what his bonuses are 
with the strap and everything so we should be close enough so that it's a decent matchup so uh let's do this drew's a pretty good character though so we'll see All right, so our purple is ready. That's thanks to the perks. We got the bleed on. Let's get the green. Green's loaded. purple refilled although it ended our turn for a second I thought my mic was muted <laughs> all right let's put that lead again Purple. We got the bleed that keeps doing damage. Okay, let's put that bleed again. Some green. Now purples. And this move set you can do starting at three star, by the way. And the bleed knocked him out. Is that bleed we actually managed to do it every single turn but it lasts five turns so it actually stacks pretty well this worked out really good let's uh, have a look at something else that was a pretty cool finish all right let's look at something else All right, so just because there's pretty much four variation of this move set uh, with trainers, we're gonna have a look at the opposite trainers, which would be George Steele and Daniel Bryan. Uh, this is basically gonna be using the green first. I don't think Daniel Bryan's gonna be needed because from what we saw previously, it wasn't much of an issue. Uh, it worked pretty fine using set as a trainer plus set as the advantage of actually loading repeatedly that uh, increased damage bleed. So we'll see, we're gonna give it a shot. So Steel and Brian instead, and uh, still coach, we're gonna keep Eddie and uh, Hollywood over. Same opponent, let's see if there's a difference. The entrance is pretty cool. Almost like an hybrid of Alistair Black. So let's get the purple. This might be more useful once he doesn't have his monthly bonus. Right now he's creating more gems. I have a feeling it might create even more often. Uh, it's gonna finish the, the turn. Early pins. Alright, so now we're gonna put in the bleed. greens let's get purples and it's gonna end my turn he's 
It's doing bigger gem damage though. Doing less with the bleed, but more with the gems. Some purples. And we still have the bleed going on. I'll have to go another round at it. He's actually putting a bleed on me too. Although uh, Drew's bleed uh, has to proc. Putting it again. Right, let's get out of that. probably end the match as well. That seemed to have fairly similar result to what we had with the first match. We took more damage, but that's because he did more moves than he did on the first match. But as far as what we did, it seemed like a fairly similar outcome. really like this end match animation. All right, let's have a look at something else. All right, another move set. This time, a five star move set. It is a long gone bond, which is the five star move. It is six MP green move. Deal 33.6k damage and choose one gem to make into two turn countdown gem that will deal zero damage and swap a three by one random maria into blue gems. The bisection leg drop combo, eight MP blue move, deal 40.2k damage and make five random gems into green gems. And the sit out skull breaker, eight MP blue move, deal 37.2k damage and make five random red gems into green gems. Basically, your your uh, blue move are going to be creating a ton of green gems, which is his primary damage uh, gem. It's going to load that green move very fast, considering it's a cost, it's a low cost move. Plus, do a bunch of damage. Problem I have with that though is that uh, reloading the blue will likely be an issue because it's based on a two turn countdown gem. Uh, not a big fan of that. I don't know how it's going to turn out. You, I mean, it's it's eight, so it's not that big of a deal to reload even without that. Uh, they also recommend that you could use a Scream in the Wind uh, finisher instead uh, of the Long Gone Bomb, which is the uh, 10 MP green move finisher, deal 52.9k damage and destroy eight random gems and pin the opponent. Problem with that is that it destroys random gems, so you don't really know what it's going to destroy. Uh, that if you use that instead, though, it becomes a four-star move set instead of a five-star, because the uh, the bisection leg drop is the four-star move, but the scream in the wind is a one-star move. So you could use that at four-star instead of five-star. But uh, yeah, not too. I mean, I really like all the other move set work, so not so big on this one so let's see trainers we're going to be law we're going to be using lawler to start with more blue going to be using rezzer so that uh, we have more uh more blue uh, green made out of that plus he also gives you one extra blue to start so that's a good uh, that's good in this case we're gonna have Ogan to create one extra and Enderly Ogan to do more of those again i'll use different uh, trainer variations 
on my three star preview although you wouldn't see this move set specifically on the three star because that won't exist all right so you could be using jimmy also to create an extra gem problem with that is that it would weaken the amount of green gems you're creating but at the same time with the monthly bonus that creates two already we're probably going to be overkill in the amount because we're going to be making like 12 of each so it's probably going to be overkill so, all right let's see versus drew again okay let's convert the reds first actually that's probably gonna end my turn because they're all connected to greens yeah figured as much Okay, we're gonna get that out since it costs two. Uh, hopefully, it's not gonna get it. But it very well could. So let's convert the reds. There's barely any of them. Because we just rid of all of them. Which is gonna be annoying for him since he's a bar house. Oh, can put another one of those. So let's do that. Maybe a backup if we get rid of the first one. The boats. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say they both stayed there, but nope. One did not survive. That actually did a quite a big chunk of damage right there. Okay, let's get rid of this. Crap. <laughs> That's what I don't like about uh, about those uh, countdown gems is that you often are going to get them wasted uh, when you try to get out of pins. Right, so let's get blue ear. The perks and Ogin. That's enough to fill it next turn. Okay, convert the reds. Right, gonna make another one. Twelve green. Hopefully that's gonna do a ton of damage. Nah, did a decent amount. Well, he's not getting out of that. This worked better than I thought it would. That's pretty much it as far as the move sets go. Let's just have a look if there's something we haven't checked as far as the moves. Pretty much covered all the moves there's the scream and the win that we didn't use although it's pretty much the trading move uh, that you can use at lower rarity instead of the boat greens on all the moves that we just saw again it's a 10 mp green move finisher deals 53k damage and destroy eight random gems and pin the opponent overall he's a pretty decent character uh, obviously last month wasn't so great as far as free characters uh, he's not an op character he's not like a top tier guy but he's not a guy that you're gonna feel like you're wasting your resources to level either i think he's doing pretty well uh, probably a little over what you'd expect out of a free character really so uh, that's it again stay tuned i will be doing my version of this at three star bronze when i buy my own 
so stay tuned for that i don't know uh, if i'll be posting that tonight or tomorrow i'll do it as far as i can but i need some sleep at some point so <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff if you have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys geo